Hi, this is Kelly, and I'm here at Lake Michigan. And yesterday I swam the Straits of Mackinac, and today I'm getting ready to pack up and leave my home of Epo Fett. I'll be back again someday soon. Well, at least by next year anyway. Epo Fett means place of rest, and this is always one of my favorite places. Lake Michigan's really high right now, so this used to be shoreline. And not too far, far from here is one of my favorite sandy beaches. We simply call it Sandy Beach. And I took the kids from my Angels Among Us youth camp there one year, and we had great memories. It was funny. One of the best memories about camping there was <laughs> we, uh, I actually have the kids make all of their own meals. I help them, but we make everything outdoors. We never ever eat inside because I think kids tend to spend too much time indoors and I also want to teach them to be self-reliant. So the kids were making um, some different kind of uh, like MRE type meals and also some um, mountain house sort of meals. They weren't that brand, but something like that. And I warned them, they decided to put it all in one pot. And I said, if you spill the pot, because it was on a sandy beach, on a uh, kerosene cooker, I said, then none of us will have anything to eat. And there was the three oldest teenage boys that were making this. And they said, don't worry, we've got this. And it wasn't five seconds later, the whole pot spilled. And so we ended up eating sandy food so they always joke and laugh about that because I didn't think sand would kill them and we were all really hungry. And that was our dinner, one of our nights camping on Sandy Beach in Epo Fett. So I'll be heading back to Alaska to go to work. And uh, it's been a wonderful time here working, getting my youth camp ready to rent because I take kids in the wilderness now. I don't use my facility and cleaning and um, visiting friends and going on wild adventures and experiencing nature. So to me, that's what life's all about. There's uh, so little time that we're here and it's so important to embrace the wild things and the wild places. And this is one of my favorite. It's not completely wild because it's the home to a 1890s era hunting lodge that my friend was bequeathed. So um, I can actually show you a little bit of that. Here's some uh, you know, move. People call them barberries or bear berries. Um, they're not really my favorite berry necessarily, but um, they are edible. They have a little bit of a bitter taste right now because they're not completely sweet yet. So this area has a, north, a lot of northern white cedar and provides off. Uh, they also have a big pit. It provides a lot of good deer habitat. You can actually see a white-tailed deer runway right here. Oh, cool. Wow, what a find. So these are coral mushrooms. You can probably see why they're called coral mushrooms. So this will be an awesome dinner to take back home to my family. You can probably see where they get the name, coral mushroom. Anyway, so, um, there, I'm not sure where I'm going to put them in my shirt. When I was a little kid and I would collect things and I didn't have a basket, my shirt would come in quite handy. But in these northern white cedars, it provides an excellent deer habitat. It's over 10 degrees warmer in the cold Michigan winters underneath a thermal protective layer, thermal covering of the northern white cedar. And so this area is a home of the 1890s era hunting lodge and now um, it will eventually be reclaimed nature, but it's actually still quite beautiful inside. So here's a view of some of it. Oh, and some lovely rose hips out front. So this is an off grid home that my friends use in the summertime. Here's some rose hips. 
rose hips have a very high vitamin C content. So anyways, um, goodbye soon from Michigan and soon to be hello to Alaska once again. Hope you're all doing well. Get outdoors, live wild and free and as fast as can be, and live large and be in charge.